Friends, we want to share the traditional Caucasus cheese recipe with you. We'll go to a highland village where you can still find such recipes. On our way there, we'll pass picturesque places that we must catch on camera. Kids, in the car. come to the highland village, Seniba. Locals showed us a house where they make cheese. Let's go in and talk to them. Hello? Hello. We've heard you're making cheese. Yes, that's right. You're right on time. Today, Elbrus is going to help us make cheese. To prepare caucus and cheese, we need environmentally friendly milk. To begin with, we need to warm it up. The temperature reached 40 degrees Celsius, and we'll add all natural ferment. To make this kind of ferment, they use clean beef stomach and lactose serum. Now we'll take it for ourselves. You need to stir it really well. We can witness fermentation, and we have to wait for about 45 minutes. Well, it depends on the stomach. There are good stomachs. There are not so good ones. Not very good stomachs are those that come from flattened oxen that were fed with venison. Prairie calf bulls standing on the barn. Well, yes, fed with venison. Yes, they have this enzyme. It doesn't work well, and usually... I put three stomachs in a bucket, and if they come across, then five must be put, so that it's more or less hardens. But the best stomachs come from nursing calf. One stomach of a nursing calf can have enough ferment for seven to eight tons of milk. For example, I use all the fermented serum and then add more serum to the same bucket. And it's working. And it lasts for a long time. The most important thing is tidiness. Right before making cheese, I scrub my hands with a brush and open the door using my elbow to not get my hands dirty. Milk needs to be dealt with tidiness. Hey, puppies. It's getting harder. During the process of fermentation, we'll go and check out the outdoors. Lift it up. Our milk clotted the way it has to. We need to stir it with bare hands. No blender, nothing like that. Because it cannot be turned into a homogeneous mass, it must be in granulus. But before that, properly wash your hands. Now we need to wait for 10, 15 minutes. The cheese will now go down and serum will stay up. The cheese will go down right now. We'll pour out serum and then collect cheese. To make good cheese, 
the milk has to be whole with active cream. What I call active cream is the one that is collecting on milk surface, and those remaining in the serum go into a flask. Today I'll add some more serum there. So tomorrow I'll have one and a half liters of cream, and passive cream is the one that is collecting on serum, and the taste our cheese gets from active cream, it stays in the cheese. That is why we make tasty cheese. What if you collect cream before making cheese? This cheese is no good. They say that milk has too much fat, but without active cream cheese, it is not the same. You mean we can't find cheese such as yours in the market? I don't think so. That's why I have many clients. Last year, I had 17 cows. And people were lining up to buy my cheese. And this year, I told everyone that I don't have cows anymore to stop them from bothering me. What if we leave it for far too long? If we do that, the serum will eat up our cheese and we'll get less cheese in the end. Don't leave it for more than 15 minutes after you stir the mass. I heard lactose serum is a very healthy product. Yes, I usually drink it instead of water. But the fresh one is like milk. I can't drink it. If it turns sour, then it's okay. And now we start collecting cheese. How much milk do you need to get one kilogram of cheese? On average, around 10 liters of milk. How much milk do we have now? Around 25 liters. This pot is 50 liters. In spring, when the grass is new, milk density is low, and we get five kilogram of cheese from this 50 liter pot. Even less sometimes. But now, we get around seven kilos. After we collect it, we put it into a strainer. The texture now is ideal. I can feel it with my hands. You can't overheat either. It will quickly harden then. And when you eat cheese later, it grunts like rubber on your teeth. I had encountered with such cheese. It is indeed like a rubber. Look, now if I don't wash this pot in an hour, these cheese pieces will stick and I'll need an iron brush because there's too much calcium in this cheese. We can be sure that this cheese contains a lot of calcium. It tastes like mozzarella. I had no idea what mozzarella tastes like. It's awesome, guys. Now we need to turn it. Now we see the cheese structure. Shoot, shoot, shoot. In about two hours, I'll turn it one more time. And it'll stay in a strainer until tomorrow morning. It has to be done for the serum to separate. How old are you? 61. How many pull-ups do you do? 15 pull-ups. Two hours passed, and we turned it several times for it to be beautiful looking. Until tomorrow, it has to stay like that. That's it. We earned this head of cheese. Look what a tender texture. Authentic Ossetia pies are made with this kind of cheese. Tomorrow, you need to get it out of strainer. Salt it. Put it into this bowl. Put it into a warm place. Because it needs to ferment a little. Then it will have holes in it. If it stays in a cool place, there won't be any holes. Fine. We got instructed well, and we'll take this cheese home. Goodbye, Grandpa Elbrus. Goodbye, sweethearts. Thank you for the cheese. 
You're welcome. <laughs>